Somebody had asked about the engine noise from Kona. It's kind of not easy to do uh, when you're driving because when you're making a video, the road noise just takes over. Uh, but they asked him about what's it like when it's taken over with the bonnet up. Anyway, just to start the car. So we start the car. And at the moment, it's making no noise because it's running in battery. Now, when you're parked up, this is not the transition you would get when you're driving. It's much smoother, but when you start it first, I've just touched the accelerator just to initiate the engine. It's a lot uh, more seamless when you're driving, but when you're taking over, you will get a little bit more sound like that. Not an easy thing to do, and I'm parked in this crappy area here because it's the only place I can escape the wind noise. But if you're wondering what the car sounds like with the engine taking over, that's what it is. And eventually then it'll realize it no longer needs to have the engine running. Uh, depending on the battery level, uh, even when it's static. What level is the battery? Battery's about half. It might do a little bit more charging. And then eventually it'll just cut off again and it'll go into battery. Once the engine's warmed up then, it does take over at a slightly lower engine revolution. Anyway, just uh, to give you an idea of what it's like when you're creeping. I'm just going to reverse, move it around the yard here. So at the moment it's still in engine. Where's the energy flow here for a sec? So as you can see, uh, the engine is still charging the battery. I doubt you can hear that, um, but the engine is still currently running. Um, but inside the car, it's just impossible. So if I try to drive out the road, uh, you just won't hear anything. You'll just hear the tires. So at the moment, we're still running in engine. I doubt you can hear that. So it's very, very quiet. Maybe even inside, where it should be a little bit quieter. There's no external noises. Again, we're still running engine, and I doubt you can hear that. So I'm expecting the car any second to move into full EV from where it is right now, which is still basically battery Oops. being charged by the petrol engine. So we're still running engine. Should be able to hear a little bit there. As I was saying, if you go over like 20 or 30 kilometers an hour, it's just road noise, that's all you get. So if I accelerate, get a little bit of engine noise there, and it should move into EV now in a minute. So it's moving into EV now, I'm just gonna to touch the accelerator. So it initiates the engine noise, but then realizes it doesn't need it, just cuts back out. Anyway, let's drive. So we're now driving EV. And we're at, actually the engine's come back in again, I was sitting there, and now we're going back into EV. So I'm just going to say nothing for a sec. We are now EV. If I floored. Engine had cut him back in. And now we're driving EV. And if I floored again, the engine comes in. And once I let off. We're back into EV again. Anyway, look, it's a really boring video for a lot of people, but there is some people that have asked about this, so obviously there is a need to find out how this works. Full EV at the moment. So I'd say when you're listening to it first, you would think, um, when I was back in the wash bay, I'd think, wow, the engine's really noisy, but like, every car, when you open the bonnet, the engine's gonna be really noisy because it's right there and the way phones pick up sound, it's not an accurate reflection of how they are, but this is super quiet. But to be fair, even if I was creeping up here in engine, Pretty, won't really hear it. It's only when you floor the car. And that's every car. Every car is going to make some bit of noise when it has any sort of internal combustion engine. Hopefully that's useful. Thanks for watching.